Hey kisses and welcome back to Nina I'm Ready Eats. Today I am at Casa Real, which is a Mexican cuisine restaurant. And I have some amazing dishes in front of me. Guacamole with crab meat on top and some greens, beautiful, some chips. And I also have some shrimp with the head on in a sauce called Salsa negra, my mouth is literally watering. And then I have some amazing limes that I can squeeze right over. And then here I have this beautiful <laughs> dish. This is dorado a las brasas. It is mahi mahi filet with plantain rice, asparagus, pickled onion, and achiote orange sauce i cannot wait to dive in let's enjoy this meal grab yourself something to eat and let's go ahead and get the show started guys i am super thrilled to try this quick prayer how you guys ready let's do it You guys know that I love asparagus. Okay. This is amazing. White rice, asparagus. We have an orange sauce. That's that achiote sauce right there this rice is creamy the texture is good I just had a bite of the sweet plantain they snuck it in the rice oh my god I have to show you they snuck that sweet plantain right into that rice that was kind of genius okay now I'm gonna go ahead and try that mahi mahi. Mm. If you have been on this channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love sweet plants and I make sweet plants and all the time at home. Wow. This is beautiful. This is a good combination of sweet and creamy and savory. Let's try the mahi mahi. That is good. Wow. It's a very clean taste, very moist. Oh, I like this. Mmm. Are these oranges or tangerines? <gasps> the tangerine on top. Let's put that in some of that sauce. Mm. Oh my God, but why do I love that? Why do I love that? See, like, food is amazing to me. Like, why do I love <laughs> purple cabbage? There's purple cabbage. I'm trying to make sure that I taste all the little things in here. This is a nice, clean, healthy dish. You can feel it. I'm going to go ahead. You guys know how I feel about seafood. So when I got here, I said, I asked the chef, the actual chef, I was like, could you do me a favor? Could you recommend some dishes that you think would best, like, you know, give me the best experience of this restaurant? Like, give me something that I know, that you know I would enjoy. And this is what he brought me. And so far, so good. This is why I always ask the chef, I'm like, who's cooking back there? I'm like, let me talk to them. <laughs> I want to find out what their best dish is. So there we have that chip right there with guacamole let's do it and crab meat oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> that was brilliant 
I mean, first of all, I think everyone in the world loves guacamole in my mind. And then you add crab meat on top of that. How is that not genius? What? I love crab meat. And I love guacamole. I'm like, what? Look at that. And I like the fresh greens on top because it gives you that. Oh, yeah. That freshness. You get that vibe that someone just made it for you, just for you. This is why I love like family owned businesses. I love that. Ooh, let's jazz it up. Let's squeeze a little bit of lime in there. Just a tiny bit. Mm hmm. Mm. That is amazing. That is amazing. The sweet plantain is calling me. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I love seafood. Cut right into that asparagus. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Let's get into this shrimp. Look at that. I don't know what to dig into next. Oh my gosh. Let's bring this shrimp here. Give you that little, that salmon right there. I love seafood. Let me squeeze some lime onto this. My mouth is watering as I'm squeezing this lime. This is salsa negra, which translates as black sauce. Make sure that I put it all up in there. Wow, what is this? The shrimp is nice and <clears throat> butterfly for you. There's a little bit of pepper in that. This is amazing. What did they put in this? <gasps> oh my gosh. What is this? Because this is delicious. This is so good. Oh my gosh, what is this? Mexican cuisine is amazing. It's so open. You guys, it's not just tacos. It's not just tacos. Mm. Wow. I'm not too sure what's in these sauces. Mm. Let me make sure that I tell you what this is. This has to be a special tea dish. Salsa Negra. I know it's Salsa Negra, but what's the actual name of the dish? Because it is amazing. This tastes so good. What is in this sauce? It's, it's like a smoky, sweet, peppery. Let me taste this one more time so I can give you a proper description of what we're talking about here. You get that, okay, so you know the taste that you get on the back end of this? That they had it open over an open fire and grilled it. That's what the sauce is giving me. 
the sauce was giving me open fire flame barbecue outdoors mm. the sauce is giving me a feeling it feels like a like a hot summer day you smell the smoke from the barbecue from a mile away okay that's that feeling right there that's beautiful mm. when you really this rice is creamy baby and it's sweet creamy and sweet I'm having these different experiences with food almost like they're now telling me a story like what is this what is this dish trying to tell me mm. and this dish right here is screaming family values okay let's get together let's hang out let's invest in one another that's what this is giving me and that's an amazing feeling. Wow, this is good stuff. You have to get out and try some new restaurants if you are in Las Vegas, Nevada. Come to Casa Real because the food here is amazing. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. The staff is friendly. Mm. It's family owned. It's a dream come true for someone. And I think that in itself makes it valuable. Mm. I'm eating inside of the dream of someone. Someone dreamt and said, I want to have a Mexican restaurant that represents my culture, that represents my heritage, that represents my Latina people, and they made it happen. Now that is a beautiful thing. So when I come to restaurants that are family owned, it's just like, wow. It's not just a franchise, there's a family behind this. That's beautiful. Family is beautiful. Mm. Mexico has such strong roots when it comes to family. It's beautiful. I love the smokiness of this dish. The shrimp is still moist. It's not overly cooked. It was made with care. Wow. This is good stuff. Mm. Restaurant's trying to get really busy. I tried to come in as soon as they opened. <laughs> but... Obviously, when the food is good, the restaurant's gonna get very busy. So right now there's like one, two, three, four, there's like six tables just got sat all at the same time. It's like everybody's like, oh, time for lunch. I came here early, early. Mm-hmm. Wow. That shrimp. I annihilated that. That's salsa negra. That's beautiful. I'm trying to figure out what's in it, but it's very smoky and it makes you feel like you're eating a meal from someone that really loves you. That's the feeling I got from that. I'm like, oh, somebody loved me. Okay. That's the feeling I got from that. Mahi Mahi. Mm. I 
There's a lot of play on flavors here. I like it. The rice is very, very sweet and creamy. However they did that, it's nice. Like I'm wondering, do they cook it like that? Or is it um, that they pour it into something later and then mix it and serve it? Or is it cooked in that? Or is it, you know, added on later? This is a nice dish. I love having new experiences. You guys remember to thumbs up this video, give it a like. Check the description box. I'm gonna add their Yelp, their address, their phone number, everything. La Casa Real or Casa Real is in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm not sure if they have it in other states because it's family owned. But if you are ever in the Las Vegas, Nevada area and you're looking for, ooh, sweet plants and right there, there it is again. And you're looking for Mexican food that's, you know, really good Mexican food with a little bit of a flair to it. I mean, when you come to Vegas, you're gonna get the best of the best really because, I mean, it's Vegas. There's a lot of competition out here. So I always find it amazing when I find like gems and little, um, restaurants or even I mean this restaurant's not little by the way this restaurant actually pretty big it's actually pretty big but I like to find family owned establishments and get some of that cultural background and figure out you know how did you guys get started and what made you want to open up a restaurant and things like that I like the story behind the food mm-hmm that sweet plantain it gets me every time I cannot believe that I'm almost done eating all of my food because this was like multiple dishes mm. It's all really good. See, that's why I say ask the chef. When you go to a restaurant, say, can I speak to the chef, please? And then ask them, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? What should I try? And he said, I should try this. I'm like, okay, let's do it. I'll try it. I said, but only enough for one person. It's just me. He chose very well. Chose very well. Wow. You guys, listen, stay positive. Stay strong. Make sure that you focus on the things that truly make you happy. Even if it's something as simple as trying out a new restaurant, opening up your taste palette to new experiences when it comes to culinary foods, try a new cuisine whether it's Mexican or anything else try something new and like I said before if you happen to be in Las Vegas Nevada and you want really good Mexican food come to Casa Real because I highly recommend it as a matter of fact I'm gonna add the, ooh, I'm gonna add the Yelp and all of the information in the description box I'm very satisfied very satisfied I feel like I've came, I've conquered, and I am living, baby. Mm. Stay positive. Stay strong. Never, ever give up on your dream. Never give up on your vision. Don't expect other people to understand what you see or what you feel. It's okay if they don't. 
as long as you have it together and you understand what you're going and what you want to do. Stay laser focused. Wherever you put your focus, that will blossom. So put your focus into something good. Take care of yourself. Stay positive and stay strong. Until next time, <laughs> bye guys.